Yo guys, what's up? It's Julian. Today I'm back with another advice talking video. I'm sitting here chilling in my bed. It's raining outside, which is weird because it never rains here. But yeah, today I'm going to talk to you guys about overthinking your music and how to overcome overthinking your music. So, for most people, overthinking your music tends to look like either, you know, having an A-bar loop and feeling like you have no idea where to take it next, or maybe just having a synth loop that you came up with and having no idea how to add drums to it. Or, you know, maybe you have, like, 50% of a track finished. Like, you have the intro and the build-up and you're going into the break and then you have no idea where to take it next. And oftentimes, I think the trap that people fall into is they think it's because they're stuck or whatever. But really, the stuckness that you're feeling isn't, like, real. It's not really tangible. It's kind of just, like, self-imposed. Like, it's, like, in your head. You feel like you're stuck because you're overthinking it. You're even just to get to the point where you say I'm stuck, that's overthinking. That's the point is that before you get there, you need to just go into creative mode and stop thinking about it. So, yeah, that's pretty much how I like to overcome it. Like if I'm having a hard time with overthinking and you know, I'm working on something and I'm not getting anywhere and it, it seems to be because of a mental block, that's what I try to do is I try to just turn off the thinking altogether. Just Stop thinking, you know, if you have an 8-bar loop, you guys have seen me do this in my videos before, like, say you have an 8-bar loop that you're working on and it sounds cool, but you don't know how to turn it into a full track, well, just start turning it into a full track, you know, you really don't have to do a whole lot to do that, you know, just grab the synth riff and put that at the beginning, then grab the hi-hats and put those right after, you know, it's like, you, sometimes, it, you have to just kind of force yourself to stop overthinking, there's just no other way to do it, you can you know, sit there, try to look for a bunch of different reasons why you should keep doing it and ways to do things online, but it's like, you know, it's like the classic thing of, like, sitting there watching tutorials but never actually making music. It's like, you can't just sit there and think about it all the time. At some point, you have to just go and you have to just trust yourself and your own instincts to just get started on something. So, that's really what I try to do is just go right into creative mode because I've been stuck there for a long time in the past. Trust me, guys. Like, before I started releasing all these techno tracks and making all these videos, there was a long period of time where I was just sitting there thinking, like, is this good enough? Where do I go next? What type of thing am I going to do here? And it's like, all of these thoughts... You have to just look at them, like, very surface level. Like, you know, you have to say, like, okay, where am I going to go next? Oh, I'm going to put this at the start, and then I'm going to keep going. That's what it has to be, not, like, oh, where am I going to go next, and then just kind of, like, worrying about that for a long period of time. So, yeah, I really recommend, again, just, if you're overthinking, just stop doing it. Just simply stop overthinking. Like, that, it doesn't seem like it's that deliberate and that obvious, but that's really all it is. That's all you have to do is just tell yourself, I'm going to stop overthinking this. I'm just going to get started. I'm going to get creative with it. And something good will come out of that. I think really, like, the best stuff doesn't come from, you know, sitting there and thinking about it for, like, five months and then finally exporting your track. The best stuff comes when you have, like, maybe a few sessions where you're just super locked in, just you know, throwing in all the elements, you know, getting the arrangement there, getting the mix there, and doing it pretty quickly, and doing it sort of based on your feeling, I think that's when you really, like, make the best stuff, that's when I've made my best stuff, at least, so yeah, that is pretty much it for this one, guys, I just want to give you some tips about how to stop overthinking your music, I've gotten a lot of requests to do this one, and honestly, you know, this is a video that I just wish was out there when I was having this problem in the past, so yeah, Thank you very much, guys. As always, make sure to like this video as well as subscribe. And let me know what you think of this video in the comments. Now, I don't make a whole lot of money off of these videos, but if you guys want to support me, the link to my band camp with all my sample packs is right at the top of the description. They're all just 5 or $10. It's a great way to keep me going and also get some great samples for you guys. Link is at the top of the description. Like I said, my Patreon is also there, as well as all my social media. Make sure to go follow me on Instagram to stay up to date with what I'm doing. And yeah, thank you so much guys, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video.